destabilization their own culture and the other cultures, we need to save the world so much conflict by getting into a dialogue that will be fruitful. amount per year, then we have a possibility of collecting a minimum 12 and a half million sterling pounds, which is 25 million US dollars or 100 crore Indian rupees per annum. With this unique, well-organized central treasury, Abaitul Mal, called the United Islamic Aid, under my personal supervision, we can change the lives of so many unfortunate Muslims for the better in a more dynamic and organized way. To become a supporting member of United Islamic Aid, you and your family members may send your zakat to United Islamic Aid, Islamic Bank of Britain, account number 01132304, sort code 300083, IBAN 3096 3401 SWIFT BIC code IBOB GB22. For telephonic money transfer, please call 442082424321. Please confirm your contributions at UIA at irf.net. For other queries and clarifications, kindly contact Mr. Mustasam Abbasi on telephone number 44794-994-0740 or visit our website www.unitedislamicaid.org. the Quran easy to understand and remember then is there any that will receive admonition learn the language of the Creator's last testament in learning Quranic Arabic today at 6 p.m. UK and 7 p.m. Europe on Peace TV A friendly message by Dr. Zakir, mother of all evils. According to the World Health Organization, every year, millions of people die due to the consumption of alcohol. My colleagues, the medical doctors, nowadays say that alcoholism is a disease. Therefore, we have to be sympathetic towards a sick alcoholic person. If alcoholism is indeed a disease, then it is the only disease that is sold in bottles. It is the only disease that is advertised in the newspapers, in the magazines, on radio broadcast stations, on television satellite channels. It is the only disease that has outlets licensed to legally spread it. It gets a revenue for the government. It is the only disease that causes violent deaths on the highways. It destroys family life and increases crime. It is only disease that has no germs or viral cause. But our Creator, the Almighty says, in His last testament, the glorious Quran, in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number 90, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amun, O you who believe, in the wal maithuru, most certainly intoxicants and gambling, wal ansabu wal aslam, dedication of stones, divination by arrows, rich summin amali shaitan, these are an abomination of Satan's handiwork. Fash tanibuhu, lallakum tuflihun, abstain from such abomination that you may prosper. Alcoholism is not a disease, it is Satan's handiwork. Abstain from it that you may prosper. Peace TV, the solution for humanity. Peace TV, the 
solution for humanity. Who is going to take care of the wives? Why God created us? What is cosmic energy? The religion is the solution for the things happening all around the world. Jihad does not mean any war fought by any Muslim. Jihad basically means to strive to struggle. The Hindus and the Muslims will be united. He is not cosmic energy. He is more superior than that. Quran gives you the solution to the problems of humankind. Not that we shall despise each other. That according to Japan, India will be the superpower of the world. We will be a superpower. We will be far superior to the American. Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salam wa rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahibi ajma'in Amma abad A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Wa min ahsanu kawla mimman dhu'i lillahi Wa amilu salihun Wa kawla innan min muslimin Tabbi shali sadri Wa silli amri Wa halul ugdata min lisani yafqahu kawli You are most welcome to ask any questions on Islam and compiled religion or any question which a non-muslim may have posed you and you are unable to reply if there are any questions, they are most welcome, brothers and sisters. Yes, brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today, when we give Muslims to the side of Islam, they say that, we don't have any benefit from you, or any benefit from you. So, what will happen in the last time, we give them a reference to them, means, from the Bible, 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 तो लोग कहते हैं कि भाई ना हम अपनी किताब को मानते हैं ना तुम्हारी किताब को मानते हैं तो ऐसे लोगों के लिए क्या उनके पीछे बार बार लगा जाए या एक बार में छोड़ दिया जाए बता आज़ द क्वेश्चन दैट देर आर सर्टेन पीपल हु हैव डन दावा वेरी ऑफ़न एंड व्हेन वी कोट देम द स्क्रिप्चर्स दे से दैट वी डोंट � that when will they get convinced? Some people may get convinced the first time, some tenth time, some hundred time, you never know. Till they literally put a gun on your head, or really it reaches a level where it goes to a hyper level, that's the time you can think that now we can reduce. The thing is you may keep on changing your strategies. If you know a person who may be having a non-Muslim name, a Hindu name or a Christian name, but when you quote him the Hindu scripture or Christian scripture, he doesn't believe, he says, I don't believe in my scripture. So you change your strategies. Then you treat him like an atheist. Talk about science and technology. He will not say, I don't believe in science and technology. So most of the atheists, they believe in science and technology. So you have to change your strategies. If you find that the strategy you're doing is not getting results, you change your strategy. The various strategies of doing dawah. After you have tried all the strategies, then in the end you can say, lakum dinu kumal yadin, in the end. But that should not be in the first time. But yet you may know, no, Allah may give hidayah. So, but when you convey the message to a non-Muslim, irrespective whether he accepts Islam or not, Allah says in the Quran in Surah Gashiyah, chapter number 88, verse number 21-22, Fazakir namanta muzakir. Your job is to deliver the message. Our job is to convey the message. Converting hearts, giving hidayah in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we cannot give hidayah. So we should realize that if we do dawah, whether the person accepts Islam or not, as long as we are giving dawah on the lines of Quran and Sunnah, we will get sawab. But I know that we like results, so that when we get results, we keep on striving harder. That's good, alhamdulillah. But irrespective whether they accept or not, you will get your sawab. Hope that answers the question. That is the reason we see my tapes. There are various different styles we give answer. Some talking about scriptures, giving references, some with reason, some with logic, some with science. So different strategies you may not know. Therefore, when I give the answer, I give about 10 points or maybe four different styles how to convince a person. You may never know that some person may get convinced by point number four. Some with point number three, some with two, some may not get convinced. And sometimes people accept Islam on things. When I interview them, why do you accept Islam? In the morning I hear the azan. It is so soothing to my ear if I accept Islam. Nothing else he knows about Islam. Every morning he heard the azan. He felt it soothing. He went to a Muslim and said, what is the azan? He says, call for prayer. Okay, I want to accept Islam, finish. And then he realizes, okay, offering five times is important and then he starts offering salah then believe you know so different people have different ways you never know so you have to try level best in the best way possible with hikmah and hisnah